welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for the Fast Hour in all of radio. It's time for your show here on CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com, broadcasting live coast to coast and around the world on CRNTalk.com. Also available on Facebook via video, Facebook.com slash CRNTalk. That's Facebook.com slash CRNTalk. I'm joined by... <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> He's a singer, he's an actor, he's a director, he's a writer, he's a producer, he's a musician. He's your co-host, come on, go, go for it. Yeah, co-host, you're the star of the show, buddy. Well, they should know, you know, if they're watching or listening, they should know who we were. I'm Mike Gary, that's Robert Conrad. This and we had my career with them. That's absolutely. Without them, I wouldn't be here. True and true, sir, very much. Thank you. Hey, dear RC, hope Father's Day finds you with all of your children. Well, it didn't quite, but that's okay. Ho hope your special day is special. Enjoy. And uh, you are a classic, uh, I don't know about that, universally loved by all of us. I like that. That's good. Love and blessings, Valerie Augustine. That's very, very nice. Thank you, Valerie, you sweetheart. That's very, very nice indeed from Val. We love all your cards and letters. We love your c -mails as well. Keep those c -mails that come in. The Real Robert Conrad at CRNTalk.com. This is from George. George writes in, I am truly one of your biggest lifelong fans. Thanks for all the great times. Now, my boys watch you along with me. I grew up watching everything you did. Now I get to share them with my son. I saw the Wild Wild West in the first runs as a little small guy. Now George E. and I watch them together. A friend of mine, Roy White, also a big fan, bought me the entire DVD set of the Wild Wild West for my birthday. And, of course, we watch the shows on MeTV as well. Thanks so much for every minute of adventure and action. That's from George. Hey, George, thank you very, very much, and thanks for introducing me to your children. That's nice. It's generational, you know? Yeah, I like that. We get a lot of calls like that, you know, and, and emails and whatnot about people, you know, sharing their... A Wild Wild West and Papa Black Sheep and all the films you've done as well with their kids. And so that's very, very nice indeed, you guys. Keep those emails to come in. Keep these Facebook messages coming. The Facebook messages have been, the Facebook chat room has been on fire today. Join us there at facebook.com slash CRN Talk. Also, give us a call, 818-818-6401. That's 818-818-6401. Oh, man. Zero one. four zero one. You, you drop your octave on that zero, and it's just that's fantastic. Right. Had right, to, nice. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, it makes me listen up. Go, what was that? That's that's the training right there, you guys. Training and experience, not to mention a lot of natural talent, you guys. So stick around. We'll be right back right after the break. A short break, one minute, and we'll be back more with your show. A whole other hour, you guys. Give us a call eight one eight eight one eight six four zero one. Chime in on Facebook, facebookcom slash Talk. Be right back. Stick around. The following ad contains shocking material. Listener discretion is advised. Is someone in your family playing a dangerous game of Russian roulette? Over 43,000 people die a year from drug overdose. 120 people a day. Five people every hour. One person every 12 minutes. 88,000 people die every year from alcohol abuse. Over 240 people a day. 10 an hour. One person every six minutes. Somebody you know may be next. Learn how to help someone you love get away from the drugs, alcohol, and bad influences. With the FMLA, people can take a leave of absence from their job and still keep it. Call Quit Drugs 321 now at 800-378-3315, 800-378-3315, 800-378-3315. That's 800-378-3315.
We're back. Your show, you guys, here on CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com, broadcasting live coast to coast and around the world on CRNTalk.com. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm joined by the uh, legend himself, Mr. Robert Conrad. You got a card in your hand? You want to yes, refer to it? Yes, it says, uh, Dearest Duke, like the butterfly kisses the flower, so are my prayers for your recovery and walking every day. Wow. Stay strong. The Lord is your strength. Huge hugs, Elaine Niles, Florida. Enjoy the postcard. Do you... Uh, do they remind you of uh, scenes in Centennial? Oh, cool. Yes, dear, they remind me of scenes in Centennial. Thank you for the card. I appreciate it very much. That's very, very nice indeed. Thank you so much. And let's get to the phones right now. We haven't heard from this lovely lady in a minute, but she is great. This is Pascanel's mommy. It's Linda from Colorado. Linda is locked in. Linda, how are you? Hey, hello. Happy, happy Father's Day. Happy Fourth of July from uh, Colorado. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to go back to the uh, talk about the perfect male body <laughs> we're talking about earlier, um, and want to let you know that your um, your namesake, your German Shepherd namesake here in Colorado, Pascanel, is now 96 pound German Shepherd, grown incredibly gorgeous body, with a wild, crazy puppy brain. And somehow I still think that equates to, I don't know, Robert Conrad. What do you think? I'm like any dog you've ever met. <laughs> I'll just bet. And I got to tell you, he is so used to his, to the red cap of Quebec. He will, he'll wear that for me and take pictures for me and pose. And it doesn't matter what any of the other dogs in the dog park think because he is Pascanel in a German Shepherd body, so he can red he can wear that red cap of Quebec very proudly. Send so a pic you. send a picture of Pascanel to us. I need to send some new pictures to you because he is really is gorgeous. And I wanted to ask you, are you still doing your physical therapy? No. No. It, well, um, I, you know, I, well, I'm going back to it, but right now I'm a little handicapped. Okay, it is because it, it's it's hard. I um, I haven't talked to you for a while, but I um, I had surgery. I had three fusions in my neck um, a couple of months ago, and so now I'm in physical therapy. And I think about you a lot when I'm when I'm doing it. But I found the answer for it. I had physical therapy today. I got home just in time to pour myself a glass of wine and give you a call, wow. and now I feel all better. Perfect, so baby. It was the call and the <laughs> wine that did it. Well, exactly. So if you want to call me after you have physical therapy and we can drink a glass of wine over the phone, I'm up for it. Okay, we'll do it. All right, I'll send you pictures of your namesake. Thank Good you, to sweetheart. talk to you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. There she goes, Linda from Colorado, pa Pascanel's mommy, of course. That's very Pascanel's very... mommy. Yeah, that's lovely. Her ninety-pound German Shepherd. Well, that's... I'm glad you clar clarified that. You know, otherwise people are going to be sending you letters. Yeah, people like, start to wonder. Who? Huh? You start talking about us, huh? I just thought about you. <laughs> All right, where are we going next? One more car to do, or uh, should we get back to the phones, RC? What? Go back to the phones. Or do you want to do one more card? I'd like to do this card. All right. What do we got here? Okay. It says, the card says, God is strength of my heart and my portion forever. Palm 7226. Oh, very nice. Roberts. Okay. Please don't ever give up. You will be walking on again and just believe it and it will happen. Everyone is looking forward to uh, hearing about you and uh, New Palm at, uh, on television. Lots of uh, hugs and kisses. Anita. Anita, lots of love, dear. Thank you for the card. I appreciate it. Very nice indeed. Let's get back to the phones. Let's see who we have next. We have Mike from North Carolina on the line. Mike from North Carolina, sir, how are you? Hey, great. How are you? Fine, thanks. How you doing, Mr. Conrad? Mike, I'm doing good. I'm doing. I've I've done better, but I'm doing all right. Wow, that's great. Uh, hey, uh, out of the four year series, uh, is there any uh, souvenir that you kept? No. Uh, for yourself personally? No. No. 
No, I attacked it every episode with the same enthusiasm. I was happy to be there, and I did the best I could. Okay. How about uh, uh, Richard Keel of uh, uh, Voltaire? It, it, was he really as big in real life as on TV? Yes, he was. He was that big. Man, he's big. Monster big. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh and Mr. Conrad, uh, you're 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 really a great actor, but I, I can't believe it was all acting. Um, you know, there's there's some tough in there, and I bet nobody never knocked a battery off your shoulder. No, no, no. They tried, but it didn't happen. I bet not. Uh, look, uh, uh, you're my biggest hero, and, and 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 you know, I'm your biggest fan. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And um, nobody never gonna knock a battery off your shoulder. I hope not. Not at my age. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, there he goes, Mike from North Carolina. I appreciate the call, Mike. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, let's see. Let's get to a quick Facebook question. This is a well. This is a comment from Sydney. Sydney says, Robert Conrad, good day. Very health and everything good. I am from Brazil, of the city of Santos. Okay. Wow, Brazil. Like we this show, it's it's a worldwide phenomenon. I hope so. We have you know Andrea in Germany, we have uh, Sydney in uh, in Brazil, we have Christoph in France, we have Ray in Japan, we have Felipe in Thailand. And Brenda writes in and says, Robert, I have a question. I've heard you talk about Joan, Nancy, and Chris being married and having children. Did Shane and any of your other girls ever get married? Yeah, Shane's been married for some time now. Yeah. Okay, so who did we forget? Uh let's see. Does Shane have any children? Yeah, Shane has two children. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And is he still kind of working around the house, too? Yeah, he does. Yeah. He maintains the house for his father. The Malibu Estate, the Conrad Abode, the Conrad Compound. The, the, the Malibu Estate. Yeah, very, very nice indeed. Uh, you guys stick around. Uh, some of the ladies are wondering if we're ever going to have a sleepover at the uh, the Conrad Estate. I couldn't stand it. No? No, it, I'd probably leap out of the second floor. <laughs> I think you'd have a good time for a couple hours. You think so, huh? Yeah, I think yeah, so. You do. I don't like your smile. <laughs> All right, you guys, stick around. It's mischievous. Stick around, you guys. We'll be right back right after the break and your show, because this is your show on Siren Digital Talk Radio, SirenTalk.com. Give us a call, 818 818 6401, and chime in on Facebook, Facebook.com. Is that 818 6401? Yeah, I'm going to try to do it like you. 818 818 6401. Zero one. Nice. Is that good? Yeah, you did it like me. Yeah. All right, learn from the master. Stick around, guys. Be right back. Stay with us. Are the debt destroyer any debt you have credit card tax student loan debt call now to get our free report that tells you how to destroy your debt it's a great resource plus when you make this free call right now we'll have a debt destroyer expert ready to help you they can show you how they can help you destroy your debt and get your life back on track debt problems don't have to be overwhelming you can live stress-free and debt-free credit cards medical bills IRS tax problems, even student loan debt. Learn about free programs offered by the credit card companies, hospitals, and even the government that can help you slash your debt. Call right now for free information, including our Debt Destroyer Guide, a $300 value, yours free. Call right now. 800-515-6348. 800-515-6348. That's 800-515-6348. This is Dr. Howard, founder and formulator of Balance of Nature. We're changing America one life at a time. All the years I spent with junky vitamins that did nothing, and this is these vitamins are just like the best in the whole world. I don't take anything else other than them. When I first started, I was just very, like, always fatigued and tired. Within two days... I felt like I felt like a new person. I felt like I was in a different body. I, I listen all the time on the radio when I'm in the car with the commercials about balance of nature, and it's really true. Everything really, really works. So I'm I am sold. <laughs> 
Experience the balance of nature difference for yourself. For a limited time, all new preferred customers will receive an additional 15% discount and free shipping on your first balance of nature order. Call 800 800- Two four six eight seven five one, or go to balanceofnature.com and use discount code FLASH. Do you want to fly somewhere, anywhere in the world? Smart travelers call myflightsearch.com for the best deals on flight tickets. Going to Manila, Bangkok, London, how about Singapore? Call myflightsearch.com for the lowest flight tickets available. What about a local vacation? Let's say you want to fly to Vegas, Orlando, Miami, Los Angeles, or Denver. Pick up the phone and call myflightsearch.com right now. We have exclusive deals that you can't find anywhere else. The only way you can get these low airline prices is by calling us. We have so many low prices available, we can't possibly tell them to you right here and now. If you're flying somewhere anytime in the next six months and you want the lowest airline ticket prices anywhere, you owe it to yourself to save a ton of money. So pick up your cell phone and call myflightsearch.com right now. Call 800-445-3166. 800-445-3166. That's 800-445-3166. Call now. 800-445-3166. Don't call me just amigo, that isn't fair If I intend to be your one love, and the one who'll always care Don't call me just amigo, that isn't fair No, 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 that isn't fair I think it's obvious you are cautious and suspicious Please be clever and delicious Don't call me just amigo, let me be more I don't believe in friendship with any girl If we were born to fight each other, then in our war of love I'm ready Oh, mercy, mercy me. We're back on your show here on CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com, broadcasting live coast to coast and around the world at CRNTalk.com, Facebook.com slash CRNTalk. And let's get right to the phone. In his war of love, that wasn't fair. What does that mean? I, I don't know. Or you turn it off too soon. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. No, we won't get it. <laughs> Fantastic song from a fantastic artist, Mr. Robert Conrad. Thank you. You're so charming. I oh, appreciate that, sir. Let's see where we're going next. We're going to Bill in North Carolina. This is going to be an interesting one. Bill from North Carolina, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Bob, how yeah, are you? I'm doing good, Bill. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I wanted to call you. I talked to your screener uh, 20 years ago this summer. Prior to the release of the theatrical version of The Wild Wild West, I contacted you through your agent and asked for a a radio interview. I was doing morning radio uh, here in Raleigh at the time. I want your listeners to know that you tried on three separate days to call me back, and our receptionist, Maureen, talked you into saying, you know, we're in different time zones, obviously, so she talked you into calling one more time. Uh, you called. I got in the production room and, and recorded you. You gave me 20 minutes of your time to talk about that you had read the script. You tipped me off as to how bad it was going to be. Um, and we talked a little bit about how, at least I felt, that Mission Impossible had already come out on the big screen. And nowhere in it was anybody from the old TV show. And I thought that that was a a huge remiss on their part that in honor, I mean, why else would anybody be going to the movie had it not been for the TV show? And I really thought that they could have cast you as Colonel Richmond or Grant or somebody. Um, but again, you gave me 20 minutes. You were very funny. You were very cordial. Um, I'm, I'm sure you don't remember it, but you were just fantastic. We even did a thing where I would give you the name of an actor and you would, you would, the first thing that popped into your head. So I would say like, Kevin Costner, and you said, eh, good actor, needs to stay out of movie, uh, water movies, no. good <laughs> golfer, yeah. uh, Julia Roberts kind of tall, I'd date her, <laughs> uh, you know, but it was fantastic, I've got it on, here's dating it, it was on reel to reel in my attic somewhere, I've got it, i got to get it transferred to a CD or something, but after 20 years, I wanted to call you and thank you for that very special uh, 20 minutes in my career, 
uh, of talking to you because I'm like everybody else. I grew up watching the Wild Wild West. I remember the actual promo on CBS, and it was the one with the, the scene in the promo was Suzanne Plachette, and you all were in that cell. You pulled the, the smoke bomb or the grenade out of the bottom of your holster. You blew your way out of the cell. And I remember, I said, man, I remember that promo. And even as an 11-year-old boy, it's like, I've got to watch that show. I've got my 12-year-old grandson hooked on it now and even conditioned to where whenever a uh, female, the first female enters a scene on the Wild Wild West, he will say, there's always a woman. Yeah, good for him. (laughs) He's right. He's like me. There always is a woman, but there's one missing right now. Yeah, man. Are Are you still broadcasting, Bill? No, I left uh, left the business uh, about six and a half years ago. I'm doing voiceover work now. Oh, you got the voice but, for it. But, but we've been watching we've been watching the DVD set, and we're still on season one. We just finished uh, Night of the Steel Assassin last night. My wife is digging this stuff. So, uh, and I thought it interesting that John Daner appeared in two episodes already in the first season. I thought that really interesting. And uh, my wife, by the way, always talks about your horse, Superstar. Yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, I love that horse. I kept it after the show, and uh, I kept it uh, until he died. Man, gorgeous animal. Unbelievable. Gorgeous animal. But all through your stuff, I mean, uh, Black Sheep Squadron, of course, all the TV movies, what, Five Desperate Women and the DA uh, series and Man Called Sloan. Man, I've, I've watched it the whole way. Thank and you. And what a kick it is and was, again, 20 years ago to talk to you then um, and then to talk to you 20 years later now with thanks to the Internet. Who knew? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I'm talking to you. All right, Bob. Thank you, and uh, speedy healing. Okay, thanks, brother. Thank you. All right, there he goes. Bill, very nice. Interesting story. 20 years ago, and interviewed at uh, RC for uh, WRAL, I believe, in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. So it's very, very cool. Bill, give us a call back any time. Love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from all of our friends and family. 818-818-6401. That's 818-818-6401. 818-6401. All right, facebook.com slash CRN Talk. Stick around, you guys. Be right back. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS? Newsflash, the president has changed the tax laws. And now, you may be able to pay the IRS less. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, the tax doctor can help you pay the IRS as little as possible allowed by law. There are new tax laws for business owners, the self-employed, even W-2 workers. If you have a back tax problem or a few years of unfilled returns, new help to save you money is now here. Call right now to see how the new tax Tax laws can help you. Plus, right now, we'll waive the consultation fee and give you a free tax savings report. Attention business owners, the self-employed, and W-2 workers. Make this free call to the tax doctor now and learn how to take advantage of the new tax laws that may help you pay the IRS less. 800-985-1610. 800-985-1610. 800-985-1610. That's 800-985-1610. You're experiencing pain, back pain, shoulder, elbow, or hand pain, pain from a sports injury. If so, schedule a visit with Dr. Michael Sheps, the leading expert in laser therapy for pain management. Call 310-873-4422 or go to drsheps.com. Experience Epic-T, the breakthrough laser therapy system that Dr. Sheps developed to make you pain-free in less time. Laser therapy is a non-invasive, safe, and effective in-office procedure that penetrates deep into your skin without damaging the tissue. It perfectly targets areas of pain to promote fast, natural healing. Relax your muscles, ease muscle spasms, joint stiffness, and arthritis pain while increasing blood circulation. For over 25 years, Dr. Sheps has helped Olympic athletes and sports enthusiasts alike get back in the game. Schedule your visit with Dr. Sheps at his Brentwood office in California. Call 310-873-4422 or visit drsheps.com. That's drsheps.com. 310-873-4422. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Columbo's. Columbo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, equal.
Eagle Rock is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Can you believe that Independence Day is right around the corner and right around the corner is Celebration City, Columbo's. So show your independence, fly the flag and scream to the heavens, be gone corporate eateries. My choice is Columbo's. No corporate script from your waiter saying, hi, I'm Florence and I'll be your server. No, no, no. It's honest, friendly service, sizzling steaks, magnificent offerings from the seven seas, Colombo's family secret Italian favorites, jazz every night, and to that we say, yes, yes, yes. Isn't it time you get acquainted with the Colombo's experience so you two will exclaim to one and all, yes, 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 because it really is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Declare your independence, Colombo's Manja. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1 800 785 9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1 800 785 9618. That's 1 800 785 9618. show here on Sierra Digital Talk Radio, SierraTalk.com. The great Chelsea Conrad playing us in. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic voice. Now an extremely successful entire interior designer and decorator in the borough of Manhattan, New York City, New York. Which depresses her father. Yeah. But soon she enough. She should have though, stayed in this business. Well, looking forward to that duet though you guys are going to do on the new album. That's right. We're doing that for sure. That's going to be something special right there, folks. Thank you. Looking forward to putting that in as bumper music on this show, which is your show here on Siren Digital Talk Radio, SirenTalk.com. Give us a call, 818-818-6401. Not bad. Let's get back to the phones. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, we have uh, Donna from Boston on the line. Donna from Boston's on line three. She's locked in. She's ready to go. Donna, how are you? Hi. How is everybody? Good, Donna. How are you, oh, darling? Good. You can hear me. Well, I missed you last time, but I'm glad you're there now. Thank you. I didn't. Wasn't I here last week? Not last week. No. Unless I fell asleep. In the no, no. I don't know what the no. hell I did last week. I was sick, huh? I guess. I guess you're sick of us. No, I'm only kidding. Um, I just wanted to uh, tell you because um, I had a little withdrawal, so I watched The Lady in Red again. And um, it never dawned on me before, but he, he asked, well, when you were John Dillinger, you sat down and you asked for a coffee and make it a Sanka. So do you know what that refers to? I know Sanka was an instant coffee, you know, and I don't know about back in Dillinger days. Yeah, Sanka you, was like, it's like asking for cream in the coffee. Give me a Sanka. 
Oh, okay. I knew you'd know. Thank I you. I had to remember to ask you that. Thank you. And you were also on uh, show, uh, should they keep the um, national anthem as it is? Or you hosted it, I don't know, 100 years ago. But they show it occasionally, you know, like on Flag Day or Fourth of July. And they always get lucky and catch it. I'm so happy <laughs> that happens. Good, I'm glad. Well, at least I got to see you on the boob tube since I didn't get to see you on the computer. Boob tube? What does that mean, boob tube? <laughs> the boob tube. <laughs> the TV. Oh, the TV. My goodness. TV. I never heard that. You never heard that? <laughs> no, that's a first. Oh, see, I can say I taught you something then. Yeah, well, that's something I'm going to forget. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an idea of how I can help you with your physical therapy. Really? Okay. Yeah, I can come out there and chase you and you'll run away from me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Let me run. No, I'm only kidding. I just wanted to say hi. And um, Susie said hi. And Anita, I guess she can't see the show. They're having a lot of storms in Wisconsin. Tell them and, all I um, said hi, will you? Man, yeah, I'm sure they'll watch the rerun. But Susie's in the chat room, but um, I haven't seen Anita. Although sometimes she just likes to watch, you know. She doesn't like to get involved with the chat. It takes away from you. Oh, okay. So um, if she can't get through and say hi herself, I'll say hi for you. Thank you, darling. And all your other lovers out here, we all love you. And Thank I'm you. glad you're better. And I didn't even realize next week is the 4th of July, so we won't see you next week either. No. No. Sorry. I'd rather have you than the 4th of July, but that's Thank only you. my, you know. Thank all all so our much. ideas, and I don't think Sierra wants that. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I love you. I'll talk to you again soon, and um, take care of yourself, and try as hard as it stinks to do it, but please try that I, physical therapy, okay? I'm, tr I'm trying, kid. I know, I know. I love you. Take care. Okay, love you, baby. Bye-bye. There she goes. Donna from Boston. Thank you so much, Donna. We really appreciate it. And a uh, quick uh, email here. This is a good one. This is interesting. This is from Linda Darlene Conrad Brooks. Hi, my name is Linda Darlene Conrad Brooks. My grandmother, Margaret Conrad, told me once that you, Robert Conrad, were a distant cousin and that they hid you in the barn once from some people. Some people. Interesting. My grandfather was John Conrad. They live in Missouri. My uncle Ed passed, and his wife sold the family farm and their house. I live in Victoria, Texas, but we still go and visit up there. My father, David Conrad, passed away five months ago. Sorry about that, Linda. Just wanted to say hi. I watched you on TV for years. Never thought I could be writing to you. If you ever get to Texas, look me up. I would love to meet you. Thank you, dear. I appreciate that. Do you have any memories of hiding in a barn from, quote, some people, end quote? No. Mm -hmm. I've hidden in a lot of places, though, so yeah. you know, forgetting a barn is not a big deal. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just another day in the life, right? That's right. <laughs> Very nice. And this is from Lonnie. Uh, Lonnie has actually like, uh, compiled a list. And uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, what the rest of our friends and family out there think of this list. Weigh in on Facebook. Uh, the top 10 Wild Wild West TV show villains. Start with number 10, Baron Hinterstosser. Number 9, Zachariah Skull. Number 8, Emmett Stark. Number 7, Dr. Horace Humphreys, a.k.a. The Falcon. Number 6, Colonel Nor Noel Bartland Vautrain, Dr. Faustina. Uh, number four, Emma Valentine. Number three, Tycho. Number two, Count Carlos Manzepi. And number number one, of course, Dr. Miguelito Loveless. Okay, if he says so. Let us know what you think about that, guys. You want to add anything of your favorite uh, Wild Wild West TV show of villains? We'd love to hear from you guys. Or give us a call at 818-818-6401. Or join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Sierra and Talk. Be right back right after the break. Short break. Two How minutes. about their heroes instead of the villains? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, give us your heroes. Uh, yeah, yeah, give uh, us your heroes. Yeah, rank Forget your, the villains. Yeah, rank the, rank the heroes, you guys. That'd be a good time. So uh, we'll be right back, you guys. Two minutes on your show here on Sierra Digital Talk Radio, Sierra and Talk.com. See you guys. The 
the smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% in your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. Imagine this is your money and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. They want your money, and guess what? They can legally take it, all of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're gonna take it from you. So what do you do? Fight back by letting our team of experts at the tax helpline work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and will fight to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. 800-932-1597. 800-932-1597. 800-932-1597. That's 800-932-1597. You see a pair of laughing eyes And suddenly your sigh and sighs You're thinking nothing's wrong you string along, boy, then snap Those eyes, those sighs They're part of the tender trap Your hand in hand beneath the trees Soon there's music in the breeze You're acting kind of smart until your heart just goes whap. Oh, whap. We are back, you guys. The great Dennis Bono playing us in. Tremendous Those artist, tremendous entertainer. At Soft Point uh, Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada. Check out his show. Uh, live show also does a fantastic radio show here on CRN Digital Talk Radio as well. And uh, RC already, we're getting some responses regarding the number one uh, heroes on the Wild Wild West. And uh, Mary... Mary, uh, who is a fantastic artist as well, uh, Mary writes in, number one, James West. Number two, James West is Taylor. Okay. So that's very, very nice from Mary. And uh, Carol, Carol from Quebec, uh, so this has always been, a, Robert Conrad always has been a good-looking, handsome man, and uh, Carol is also celebrating a birthday next week. Oh, really? Yeah. When's your birthday? Uh, I believe it's uh, actually going to be on the 4th of July, or either the 4th or the 7th. Well, we have to sing happy birthday to her. Okay, you want to do it right now? Okay, and her name is? Uh, Carol. Carol. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Mm, happy birthday to you. Very, very nice indeed. And let's get to the phones. We have uh, Bruce from Ohio on the line. Bruce, buddy, how's it going? Great, how are you doing today? We're doing all right. Oh, I wanted to thank you. I got my autograph last week. Good, I'm glad. Oh, I'm awesome. I love it. Good, I'm oh, glad. No, also, I think, I, I think I'm going to make those shirts. I'm going to change the Bobby Hot stuff, uh, come to my slumber party. <laughs> all right, that works. I still think we can make a big amount of money on this. That's hey, a, that's a good racket. It works for good business, not a racket. Good business, yes, it's correct. It's, yeah. it's a business. I, I think, uh, you know, oh, man, that's not a good comment. Maybe you have to shape your business to make uh, make up for that. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> well, at least you sound a little bit better. Thank you. I'm getting better. 
good, good. That's good. Well, that was I was uh, I was thrilled to get that. So I mean, uh, uh, the number one uh, like the villains. I I'll go with Doctor Loveless as number one villain. Oh yes, definitely. Okay, I would say so. Loveless was the villain of all time. Oh yeah. That sounds good to me. Okay, brother. All right. Well, I hope you get better even more then. Thank you. All right. God love you, Robert. God love you. Bye bye. All right, Bruce. We appreciate it. And we're going to uh, talk to Bruce uh, over Facebook about getting that business together. Thank you, Bruce, for that. We appreciate that. Uh, Bobby Hot Stuff. That uh, comes uh, from our friend uh, Gene. That was very, very funny. Uh, let's see where we're going next. I believe we're going to up to Kalamazoo. We have Barbara. Barbara from Kalamazoo. It's our gar- girl from Kalamazoo. How are you? Hi. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Mike. Hi, Hi Robert. Hi, Kalamazoo, zoo, zoo, zoo. Yep, I'm your gal from Kalamazoo, and I wanted to say I agree with Donna from Boston that you are would be more fun at the 4th of July than the 4th of July. Okay, thanks for that. Except uh, I know you're a very uh, patriotic guy, and I'm sure you like that holiday. Yes, I do. That's great. Yeah, I do, too. That's a wonderful time. But uh, I just wanted to be, you know, saying I'm happy to talk to you, Robert, and uh, didn't want to talk too long because they have to keep it short. But I did want you to know that uh, last week when you were there, I was praying for you because that was the very first time, July, or rather June 21st, 2018, that's the first time I ever talked to you live on CRN, and it's like an anniversary to talk to you right now. So I, well, I'm here, and I thought you'd like to know that. Well, good. I appreciate it. We're back together again. We're back together again, yeah, because uh, it's like uh, whenever I am short on time, I always call my Valentine. Oh. All right. He'll always be my Valentine, Robert, even though it's going to be the 4th of July. But um I God bless it. you. Oh, well, thank you. I love you, and I know all our family and friends love you. And always, so, like I said, praying for you uh, to, to keep that inner strength that you have, that great spirit Thanks, in you. Thanks, so, sweetheart. Yeah. So direct to you from Kalamazoo, straight from Barbara. So uh, have a wonderful holiday. God bless you. And I'll... Hopefully talk to you in the future. God bless you, Barbara. All right. Thank you, Robert. All right. There she goes. Barbara from Kalamazoo. Our gal from Kalamazoo. Thank you for that, Barbara. And uh, these would be what we're talking about, heroes and villains on the uh, Wild Wild West. Peggy from Porter Ranch, right down the road, wants to weigh in. Uh, Never really thought Dr. Loveless was a villain. Rather, he and Jim Jim West enjoyed the challenges of their adventures. Loveless was always trying to outsmart Jim, but always failed, so he disappeared until they met again. As for the best hero, Jim West, of course. Artie is a close second. That's from Peggy in Porter Ranch. Thank you, Peggy. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, we'll be right back. Wrap things up here on your show, CRN Digital Talk Radio, crntalk.com, facebook.com slash crntalk, also available on YouTube. And on the Roku. On the Roku. (laughs) I love that name. It's a Roku, baby. Sounds like a tropical drink or something like that. So stick around and go for a couple of minutes. I'd like the Roku with you, honey. (laughs) Okay. Watch out, you guys. Stick around. We'll be right back here on your show. Hi, everyone. This is Fred Dreyer telling you about my favorite Italian restaurant. It's Angelo's and Vinci's in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's has the best pasta, the best seafood, the best salad, spaghetti, lasagna, and the most incredible pizza. And the chicken is delicious. Marsala, piccata, cacciatore, parmigiana, and more. For desserts, try our spumoni or our tiramisu, my favorite, flown in fresh from Italy. 
and the cannolis and the zeppelis are out of this world. Open for lunch and dinner, and don't miss the Sunday Champagne Brunch, just $23.95. Are you kidding me? It's all up the road from Disneyland at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Angelos and Vinci's, like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Call 714-879-4022 or visit us online at angeloandvinci's.com. CRN Digital Talk Radio prides itself on being the station of every situation. And you can listen to us on nearly any platform and device. Download to your iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry episodes of What's Cooking, And take Master Sommelier Michael Jordan with you to the wine shop so he can help you pick out that perfect bottle of wine. Stream episodes of the Sonoma Wine Report through our CRN app. Tune in radio, Nobex, Stitcher, Utunes, or AHA Radio. And start planning that unforgettable weekend in the wine country. They're in your corner on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and many other apps. And of course, you can always listen live through your local cable TV provider, as well as on our website at crntalk.com. For more information on where to listen to these great shows, along with many others, log on to crntalk.com and create your own listening experience today. The following ad contains shocking material. Listener discretion is advised. Is someone in your family playing a dangerous game of Russian roulette? Over 43,000 people die a year from drug overdose. 120 people a day. Five people every hour. One person every 12 minutes. 88,000 people die every year from alcohol abuse. Over 240 people a day. 10 an hour. One person every six minutes. Somebody you know may be next. Learn how to help someone you love get away from the drug alcohol and bad influences with the FMLA people can take a leave of absence from their job and still keep it call quit drugs 321 now at 800-378-3315 800-378-3315 800-378-3315 that's 800-378-3315 This couldn't happen again This is that once in a lifetime This is a thrill divine What's more This never happened before Though I have prayed for a lifetime That such as you would suddenly This song, you guys. We are back on your show here on CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Spending your afternoon with us it means a lot, I know, to me and the whole CRN family. We really appreciate it. And we should probably take just one more call before we uh, end for the evening. I believe we have Steve from Michigan on the line. Steve, is that you? Yes, I'm here. How you doing, great Steve? show, guys. Thanks. You sound Thanks. great, Mr. Conrad. Thanks, Steve. Um, not much time left. Maybe I can get this question out quick. And when you're acting, and I, you know, I, you're the expert, but I've heard different actors say that um, it's like tennis. If you're playing with a really good partner, it it ups your game. Is is that actually true? I mean, are you just giving all you have regardless, or if you're you know, acting with a great actor, as instance, Agnes Moorhead, who won an Emmy on your show. I mean, you guys had great chemistry. Obviously, you contributed to her Emmy because she acted against you mainly. Is that a truism? I mean, you're considered a great actor, but I've also heard different actors give different answers to this. I'm sure acting is as different as an athlete. Are you just there giving everything you have, doing your best, or does that is that true to for her instance when you acted with her or other great actors does that up your game or are you just acting the best you can you know no i give it my best regardless of who i'm working with i always give it my best 
But right. if you're if you're working with a complete stiff though, who's just kind of standing right there and not really you know doing anything, that can that take away from your performance? No, you rarely kinda, get stiffs. Mm. Kind of like ba- kind of like boxing. If you're boxing someone good, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a great boxer or a lesser boxer. I mean, you're doing your best. If 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 they're giving it a great like Ross Martin, who was great, you guys had great chemistry. I mean, do you feel like? Do you get energized at least inwardly? You know, oh wow, this is okay. This is a challenge. Or were you, like you said earlier, you're just always trying to give it your best and. Uh, so I was trying best. to give it my best shot. Right. Okay. Even that in makes the sense. ring when I boxed. <laughs> well, I really appreciate. Uh, real quick, I, I know we're almost out of time, but um, me TV. I, Put in Robert Conrad. If you, a lot of people still use DVR. I just recently saw you on Mannix. It was the first thing you did after um, Wild Wild West. You were amazing in it. I mean, you just chewed up the scenery. You could tell you were just having fun. You probably had been doing Wild Wild West for four or five years, and you took this role I read um, right after that. And um, you were just, you know, you were a Hollywood guy, but you were an actor. You were playing an actor, and it was just hilarious. So put in Robert Conrad. I just saw last night, too, you, uh, your first episode on uh, 77 Sunset Strip from your character from Hawaii and I, and it was great. So um, if you DVR Robert Conrad, automatically these shows will be taped for you, and that's how I got to see Manic and um, 77 Sunset Strip. You were great in both those episodes. Awesome. So. All right, Steve, we're wrapping things up. Thanks for the call, buddy. Thanks, thanks for Steve, the for the call. All right, thanks. Appreciate that, Steve. Appreciate all of our friends and all of our family. Uh, appreciate Mary, Carl, Linda, Christoph, RG, Anita, Elaine, John The Voice, Mike, uh, Bill, Bill Gray Call, Donna, Bruce, Barbara, and Steve Yeis. Our Conrad, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure working with you, Mike. Pleasure is all mine. Sir, we'll be back next, well, not next week, 4th of July, friends. And so, 4th of July, we're not here. Two huh? weeks, yep. We'll be at the bar, you guys. So, thank you so much. At the bar. Uh, until next time, you guys. Thank you so much.